Hi guys, welcome back to Scott Family Homestead. I am Christine, and we've got some very exciting news today because last night our Jersey heifer had her baby. We have been waiting for her to give birth for quite some time. There's a little bit of a backstory to this. When we purchased Lorelei, we were told she was due on June 10th, and so we were preparing for that for quite a few months. We had her since February, and as the date approached, we got a message from her previous owners that they had mixed up the dates and she wasn't actually due until July 20th. And then the 20th came and went, and we were still waiting. And so finally, last night, one minute to midnight, so technically on the 25th, Lorelai had a little baby heifer, and they are doing great. Yesterday we checked on Lorelai a bunch. We were thinking it could be any time now. Ryan went out to the barn right at about 10.30 last night before we would go to bed. I was already in bed and found that her sack had ruptured and that we were about to have a little baby calf. How's it going, Mama? I'm gonna show you some footage from last night, so fair warning, I'm going to show a calf birth. If you get squeamish with things like that, you probably won't wanna continue watching this video. We're gonna get into the actual birthing of the calf and I'm gonna show some clips and footage. I just think it's a really special thing to watch birth. Okay, so she's looking pretty uncomfortable. We've got what looks to be a sack on the ground. She's pouring milk. I'm just gonna keep an eye on her and see how this progresses. Lorelei is having contractions. Her water is broke. We don't see hooves yet, just lots of water coming out with each contraction. So we're keeping an eye on her. It won't be long and we're gonna have a baby. Just a couple contractions later, we started to see hooves. So at this point, Ryan went into the house and got the kids so that they could see it because they really didn't want to miss it. And we just kind of watched as she progressed. All right, you can see the hooves. They're white back there. Yep, she's getting another contraction, it looks like. And I think we're seeing nose. It's coming out. Good push, good push. You're doing great, Mama. You're doing great. Yeah, you are. When mama stands up like that, that's completely natural. That baby will drop to the ground. It looks a little bit dramatic, but it is how nature works. Mama got to cleaning baby right away, but we didn't really like the way the baby was laying. Ryan did go in and adjust the baby just a bit to get cleaned off so that its neck wasn't at such an awkward angle, but otherwise we just let Lorelai do her thing for the next couple of hours. We just kept an eye on them, waiting for baby to nurse. There you go, Mama. You did it. You did it, girly. Well, we had to help baby get up. She was having a really hard time getting on her feet. And it's been a couple hours already. So we got her up and she is nursing. We're gonna dip her navel in an iodine solution. And dipping the navel helps keep bacteria from making its way up to the baby's belly because that channel is still open. It's just cement. 
Let's see what that looks like for you. All right. That's all it takes. We are going to be doing milking at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. You do it about 12 hours apart. So we will come out to milk Lorelei at 8 o'clock in the morning. But it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve for everybody. We'll just see how it goes. But for now, we're going to leave these two for the night, and they should be just fine. Good morning. So last night, Lorelei had her baby, so we were heading out for her first milking. I'm going to attempt to milk into a quart jar. And then I've got a little gallon storage bucket here because we probably won't be taking that much. This is all colostrum, so we won't be drinking it, but I will freeze it in case we ever need it in the future. Of course, all the other animals are going to be impatient while they wait. We'll be back, turkeys. All right, let's go check on mama and baby in the barn. Good morning. Okay, we got just a little bit of milk. Ryan and I worked together to get it. We are going to leave her alone because she's quite distressed being away from baby. So we are going to try again tonight. We didn't want to use a bucket right away and have her kick it over because she was very kicky. So that's why we decided to use a jar to start out and just try to get what we could. We made sure all four quarters were working. She's very swollen. It's going to take a little while before we can get like a real good milking out of her. But we're just going to keep doing the every 12 hour schedule and we are all learning and adjusting. Hopefully everything will go good with mom and baby during the day. We'll be checking in often. We are going to go get ourselves some coffee because we were up all night. Please coffee. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll have a lot more updates coming soon. Thank you for following along and subscribing. We'll catch you on the next one.